What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Man, we are game day. And what I'm doing here on game day is saying thank you. Thank you to all of the great fans and the channel members and all that stuff, all the people that have been supporting the channel. What I like to do is I like to give stuff away. Some people end up, uh, you know, ridiculing me and saying that I'm this, that, and the other, whatever. It's all good. I'm not going to change who the person I am. Here's what's cool. And before I get on to Tyler Smith, here's what's cool. Sanding. Okay? And I know somebody's going to make a video about this. But do you understand what sanding is? Sanding is taking a coarse piece of material and basically scratching the hell out of it. Start out with a coarse grit and you scratch the surface of it. Then you go through and you get a finer grit. So you're scratching out the bigger scratches with smaller scratches. And you continue to progress and progress and progress until finally the scratches that you make are so fine that you can't see with the naked eye. So here's what I got right here. This is epoxy resin. This is a butcher block. I'm going to be giving this away tonight. I poured the epoxy resin on there. There's some waves and things like that. So I started out with 150 grit sandpaper. Sanded it all nice and flat. Went from there to um, 180, 220, 280, and now this is 400 grit that I just did now. And you can see the big scratches are actually out of this now. The big ones are. But it's not polished. The more you sand it down, you're basically polishing it. So by the time I go through the 600, check this out, 600, 800 grit, 1500, 2000, 5000, 000, I'm sorry, 3000, then into the 5000. 3,000, 4,000, and 5,000. By the time I go through all of those and then put the oil on it, it'll be like a piece of glass. I think it's kind of amazing. Um, and I've learned over the years of really doing some woodworking and how it's really satisfying. The funny thing is, is when I was in high school and taking shop class, um, they looked at you as idiots, you know, oh my God, they're not going to be college guys. They have to work with their hands and this, that, and the other. You know, I'm glad that I do work with my hands because there's something satisfying about being covered with dust and basically grinding down till you get the beauty. I don't know that you can get that sitting behind a desk pushing papers. At the end of the day, when I clean up and I look at my hands and, and I see the things that I actually produce, it's a lot of satisfaction for me. And for me to be able to say, this is a gift to one of you guys, for me, is, is the cream of the crop, or the coup de croix, or whatever it is. And I'm sure somebody will make a video about how I misspeak, but that's okay. That's okay. So, interesting thing. Jason Peters, a soon to be Hall of Famer, whenever he stops playing and waits five years, one of the best offensive tackles in football is actually active tonight for the Cowboys, which is great. It's great. We need him. Um, he's definitely going to be improvement over some of the guys that we have out on the field. But I don't think you guys realize how good Tyler Smith has been. Tyler Smith, um, and understand, we've been sanding with coarse grits for years here. Understand since Tyron Smith has been in here and started to break down, since 2016, we've had guys like Blake Bell step in for him for a couple of games. We had Cam Flemings and the Cam Irvings, guys that actually blocked for, you know, like Tom Brady and stuff. We had the Chaz Green. Oh, my God, what a nightmare that was. Um, we had the Ty Nasekis. And even we had Terrence Steele get switched over onto that side. The fact that you actually have Jason Peters, an all-pro, future Hall of Famer, 
who's ready to go, but he's not taking Tyler Smith's spot, says a lot about Tyler Smith more than it says about Jason Peters. Because I will dare say two games in, Tyler Smith has been the best replacement for Tyron Smith. And I dare say that unless something happens dramatic and he takes a big reverse, that he will be replacing Tyron Smith permanently. And the fact that they're not making that change on it right now bodes a lot for what he is doing. To take a guy as a rookie, to put him on the blind side, the most important offensive line spot, and to actually look at the Cowboys offensive line and say it's in better shape right now than it was last year when Tyron Smith was playing at the end of the season says a hell of a lot. If Jason Peters is anything from what he used to be, and they'll probably rotate him back and forth and they probably won't have him play the whole game. They're going to bring him up slowly and things. If he's anything, we could look at and say, in a couple of weeks, our offensive line could be much better than it was last year. The first half of the season, the offensive line was really good. When we had Terrence Steele on the, the, the right-hand side, you had Tyron Smith on the left side and things, and even with Connor Williams in there. As long as Tyron, Tyron Smith was healthy, the offensive line was okay with Connor McGovern, I mean Connor Williams, God, why we got to have the same names? Connor Williams and Biotish. Well, Biotish is better than where he was last year. And I think Jason Peters will be an improvement over Connor Williams if he plays guard. And I believe Tyler Smith may not be Tyron Smith when he's healthy, but he ain't far behind. And give that guy some time as he works on sanding out the big scratches as he starts getting to that 1,000 grit and 2,000 grit, we may actually have lucked out again and been able to find a replacement for Tyron Smith in the same way we found a replacement for Tony Romo and Dak Prescott. So, we've got about four and a half hours before the game. I got a lot of different levels of sanding to do to get this thing done. Because then I got to oil it up and get it ready for you guys, so I'll have it ready for the studio. And um, as always, I want to say thank you guys, because I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh oh, I got a damn Gina. I I'll check out the damn Gina and come back.